All right, welcome back everyone. We're live here at Shady Spring and we've got the head coach of the Shady Spring Tigers, Coach Col Colacerto, excuse me. Um, okay, so I've been really interested to talk to you about a couple things here. I love the way, and we were talking a little bit about this off camera, your team has fought. Um, you guys went on that three game win streak, played really tough teams, and you got Greenbrier East who is coming off a of bye. Now you play a team that's a rival. You guys play them, you know them, you play them every year. How do you get your team to bounce back from that loss to Greenbrier East? Uh, you gotta you gotta forget about it and and move on to the next one. We did fight and come back in a couple wins, uh, but didn't make it, you know, didn't make it back against Greenbrier East, but we did fight back. Liberty, we know it doesn't matter with the records. A lot of times this game is uh, pretty intense. The kids know each other, and, uh, you know, it's pretty pretty easy to get them fired up for a game like uh, tonight with Liberty being a county rival. Yeah, it's a, it's a big rivalry, Raleigh County rivalry. You talked about how the kids know each other and everything. Um, I want to talk about how your quarterback, Cal Colacerto, he came and he's, he got injured, came back, and since then, I want to read these numbers off because it's phenomenal. He's 28 of 49 for 436 yards, six touchdowns, and I think what's probably most impressive for you, zero interceptions. Yeah, no doubt. What he, do you like he's doing? He's doing a good job. Uh, you know, it, he finally got to start. It was his turn and, uh, you know, had a rough week one against a tough opponent and he's hurt and he's and he's out for a couple of weeks and it, it was chomping at the bit to get back and um, now he's back and he's doing well and, and uh, pretty impressive no interceptions he's had a couple close that they maybe have dropped but uh, no he's making good decisions and um, I hope it continues tonight. Now on the other side going up against Liberty they've got a kid in Isaac Williams really phenomenal runner I think they average like 210 plus yards a game on the ground that's obviously going to be how they attack you guys defensively how do you look into that yeah we we have to stop the run for sure they have different sets that they try to use and they'll keep doing them on until they find the one that works and uh then you can't fall asleep on the pass they'll they'll chuck it up there but we know they're wanting to run and we're gonna have to be physical up front and uh stop them and you know we've scouted them and we know what they like to do when you get this deep into a season, it's crazy. We're already here at week seven. It's it's like the season's already almost over. You kind of start to look at playoffs, seeding, all of that stuff. Do the kids look into that at all? Do, do the in the locker room do they talk about that, or do you try and get them away from that, or do you want them talking about that? Uh, we try to get them away from it. We they know we have to win. I mean, there's no doubt. You can look at it all you want, and you can't say that, hey, we know we're going to get these because then you're in trouble yeah. if you start counting on the ones you think you're going to get. So we try to just say get ready for the next one and win, and it falls where it falls. All right. Well, you heard it. Massive game tonight. Rivalry game. Liberty coming to town. Head coach of the Shady Spring Tigers. Thank you so much for joining us, and best of luck tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yep.